wolf or that's more like a coyote. Angry wolf. Happy wolf. Candy as a wolf. Okay, I'm here with your last minute costume look. You don't even need a costume when your face looks this awesome. And then when you talk, it just looks totally weird to see your teeth. So thumbs up this video if you want to see more face art like this. And it's so easy. You can totally do this. I will put a link below to my blog and you'll see still images. We're just easier to see when you see a still picture sometimes as you're going along. I was going to do a Despicable Me um, minion tutorial and it came out too scary. I didn't like it, so I'm not even uploading it. But I did make this DIY Despicable Me hoodie. So if somebody wants to win this, I'm going to give this away. I'm going to give the goggles away and maybe I'll throw in an extra little goodie in the package too. So just thumbs up this video and leave a comment below. I don't know, what is your favorite candy bar, your favorite ice cream flavor, either one of those. So just check back this video in the description box below. I'll announce the winner there in a few weeks. So I'm not going to have makeup on in a minute, so don't be frightened. What I'm going to be doing is painting my face white with the base, and this is the MAC acrylic face paint. You could use a white eyeliner pencil or any white face paint and a brush. My nostrils are really messing this whole look up with their blackness. So that's our base. We kind of look like a clown, really, is what it looks like. Since wolves don't have any whites to their eyes, I'm just going to kind of make mine look kind of more wolf-like and kind of black them out. Okay, now I finished one of the eyes so this video isn't super long, but we're just going to line the inner water line of the eye, then take our gel liner and angle brush and go right along the lash line. Look really flat right here at an angle, like this. Their eyes kind of look like they go flat out here to the side, and then they have a sharp angle down here. Then we're just going to go from the inner corner and the point we made and connect it along the lower lash line up into the outer corner and point of the eye. We kind of look like the black swan here. And I totally forgot we need to add the ears on for our wolf or he really won't look like a wolf at all. You can take any gray or brown eyeshadows. I'm just taking copper plate, um, charcoal, cork, and I'm just going to do a little bit of the shading. So we're just going to go along the edge, bring it down, shade in front of the ears just a little bit. I feel like I'm Bob Ross. It's a happy little wolf. A little bit of painting here. You just want to add a little bit of shadow in his ear. It's like when you're coloring coloring books. Make it a little three-dimensional. And for the highlights, I'm also going to take some peach and nude. So we're just going to put a little bit of highlight kind of in the ear just to warm it up so it looks kind of real. I like different color hair like you no know, wild animals. I'm also going to put this lighter color right above where we just put our shadow because we're going to always have those kind of little spots of highlight right above their eyes. I'm also going to do that right here below so none of our black will smear off also. Go down the nose in the peachy color right here. Then we're just going to add some shading to the nose and the cheekbones. And gel liner again and fill in little hair like brush strokes. It's pretty much the same way as when you're filling in your eyebrows. We're going to go a little bit in front of the ears like this. Now we're going to add all the outline to the face. With your black, you're just going to outline all of the ears and around all the edges of the face. You can fill in the edges and in the ears with a little bit of hair-like brush strokes too to add a little bit of realness and make him look like he really is a little furry guy. Now we're going to draw in a little bit more of the detail. Create this highlight spot up here. I'm just going to come down and create this little, kind of like a jelly bean shape highlight spot right here. Now we're going to go underneath the eye and create a curved dimension to the face so it looks like an actual kind of, more like a dog wolf eye than a human facial shape. Like so. Getting wolfier by the second. And then now we're going to draw the nose on. So we're just going to start right about the top of the nose right there. And we're going to end it right below the bottom of your nose so you have a marking point. Now you can either fill it in with the pencil, which is going to be a little more dry, or again, just take your angled brush and fill it in with your black gel eyeliner. Take a little bit more of your gray and kind of blend it down onto your top lip. Curve it from the center point down like this. You're going to take your black gel liner and draw a line straight from the middle of the nose down the top upper lip and shade in the very bottom of the top upper lip too. And I just realized I didn't even record that whole part. So what I did was I just draw, take a black line, go from right about the middle of your eyeball down and then scoop him across to this part and again do the same thing over here. And we want our wolf to be a happy wolf. I'm just going to take any kind of pink lip liner. I'm just going to go down here color this all in pink, right below the bottom lip, 
like you're making one really overly drawn uh, lip liner. My black gel liner and this black again, we're gonna color this outside in. And then we're gonna take a little bit of black and fill it in on the very top of the lower lip. And then we're gonna do the little swizzle of the tongue right there. And then draw a little center line, so kind of like the center of the tongue. Shade it in a little bit. And you bit. can take your white paint pen or any white eyeliner. We're gonna put a little bit of tooth action right here. The highlight. And then you're just gonna take your white and put a little highlight on the nose. I wish my eyes were blue like a cool, like a white wolf with blue eyes, but mine just had to be the brown eyed wolf. Huge hugs from my house to yours. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. You can check out my other channel, Candyland. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of stuff because I probably already did a sneak peek of this look I was going to do so you can stay ahead of the game of what I'm going to do now. It looks weird when you see my teeth now. Like I look like I'm a dog with teeth. It just looks so weird. Doesn't that look strange? And my teeth look really yellow next to this white face paint. Wolf eyes. Ooh. Thumbs up this video if you like wolves. And I'm here to show you this Austin. No coyotes more like. Was that a wolf sound? I think so. I don't know.